Hi, I'm Hadass and I would like to show you how easy it is to create your own ID card using only Canva. If you're a nonprofit organization and have not yet joined our exclusive nonprofits community on Facebook, you are most welcome to join us. You will find the link to join in the description below. Are you ready? Let's go. I'd like to show you how easy it is to create your own professional ID badge to indicate what organization you work for, what's your title, what's your name, how to get in touch with you, or any other information you'd like to add in. So to start with, you can either ask your printer provider for the exact dimensions and use the custom size, or you can use the standard size, which I'm going to use right now, which will be, I'm just going to click on custom size, 638 by 1013 pixels. You can either make this horizontal or vertical. I will go with a two-sided vertical ID card that has a front side and a back side. So I'm going to start with the easy part. I'll just go to elements and search for a frame for my photo. So I'm just going to click on frames and I'm going to look for a circular frame that has a border around it. So it'll be easier for me like this one. You can go with any shape you'd like. And I'm just going to use a photo from the library. So I'm just going to look for a woman's portrait. And I'll just take this first one that I have here. And I'm going to change the color of the border to something that suits my brand colors, which you will soon see will be green and black. Okay, now let's give her a name. Information that you'd want to include in your ID card will have to be, of course, your name, your title or position, and the organization you work for. You can also add your contact information, whether it's your social media, your email, your phone number, whatever it is that you think that is necessary. So for this demonstration, let me just add here a text box and I'll just give her this imaginary name. You'd want to use a very crisp and easy to read font because this is something that people will need to see from a distance. So don't make it too cluttered and don't make it too fluffy. So I'm going to use Open Sans as a font, but maybe I would use this one. Let's just center this and center the photo as well and add some bold to it. Okay, now I'm going to add her title, so let me just type here, she's a volunteer. Center this. And now I'm going to add her email and her phone number. I'll group this, position this in the center. And now what we want to do is add the logo. So here I have my logo. Let's just copy this and paste it in our ID card. I'm going to place it up here. And now what I want to add is some garnish to my ID card. And you don't want it to be over cluttered. You want it to be very crisp and clear so people can easily understand who they're talking to and where you're from. So I'm just going to use the blobs under elements and add some color in the corners. So I'm going to take, for example, this one and just turn it a bit. I'll change the color to my brand green. I'm going to duplicate this, add some black and maybe change the position. And so have this right here. Okay, now I'm going to do the same. Let me just resize this a little. I'm going to duplicate this and put this in the other corner. Maybe just change the size to make it a little more interesting, something like this. And that's it. Now, if you need any more information that you think is relevant to your ID card, then of course, add it in here or replace anything that I have put in. Now I'm going to create the back side. So I'm just going to duplicate this. I don't need the photo again, but what I can add here is perhaps a QR code would be a good idea. People are always with their smartphones and they can easily scan your code and be redirected to anywhere that you'd like them to go for more information, whether it's your website, a landing page, a fundraising page, you make the call. So let's just go to the more option and click on QR code and enter our URL. 
click on generate code and there you have your scannable code now let's just delete these and what you can add up here if you'd like uh, you could have a validation date to your id card so let's say for example i'll ungroup this i can mention that this id card was issued and then valid until and let's say march 2021 and i'll just duplicate this and let's say this is valid until the end of the year now let's make it a little more interesting with the corners i am still going to leave the background white let me just do this position it in the center now let's say i'll take this one and just resize the blob to make things a little more interesting maybe something like this and also resize the logo place it here let's just group this and position this in the center make sure everything is centered just notice that this is the wrong green let's change that and there you go now you have your two-sided id card and let's prepare this for print so first of all we'll go to file and we'll check the show print bleed and the show margins anything within your inner margin is in a safe zone and will not be cut off when printed now we're just going to go to the download menu choose the pdf print option check mark crop marks and bleed and select the pages that you want to be printed click on done and download and you're good to go that's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And don't forget, if you're a nonprofit organization, you are welcome to join our exclusive nonprofit community on Facebook. You'll find the link in the description below. I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye for now.